Welcome to Not Just a Transaction, the podcast series hosted by experienced real estate authorities, Nick Prefontaine and Zachary Beach. Each week, the hosts bring you expert guests to help you navigate the many creative options available for buying or selling a home while cutting out the costly hurdles of a conventional real estate hey Everybody, deal. this is Zachary Beach and Nick Prefontaine with Not Just Another Transaction podcast hey episode. Hello, Nicholas. Today, we are going to deep dive into why conduct transactions with a high integrity is a cornerstone to our business and how it has helped us help you guys through both the good, the bad, and the ugly over the last six to eight years. Nick, would you like to get started? I, you know, Zach, I would love to get started. And that's a, that's a uh, kind of a great question, why it's a cornerstone to our business. Uh, now, as I have covered in previous episodes, because I specialize uh, mainly in dealing with our buyers, I'm going to be coming at this from their perspective. Now, integrity is a word that's thrown, thrown around lightly um, in company mottos and mission statements. And alternatively, we take it very seriously. And it's a part of everything that we do at Pre Property Solutions. From our very first interaction with you as a buyer, we want to make sure that you're making enough money to support the home. If you didn't, then we would tell you as much and direct you to one of our other homes. Now, this might be a little bit of a question within a question, but what if you as the buyer, you have a huge down payment, you have a huge down payment, but you, you don't really make enough to support the home? Well, to be candid with you out there, we wouldn't even end up talking about your down payment if you didn't make enough money to support the home. That's our first priority when we're deciding who to accept for any one of our homes. We want to make sure that you're making enough money to support the home so that when it does come time for you to get your own loan, you're going to sail right through the process. You're never going to have an issue when it comes time to get your own loan. It also comes into play throughout the deal as you as the rent home buyer. You can be rest assured that we're never, we're always, we're always going to do the right thing. And we're never going to take the easy way out because it's going to save us a few bucks here or there. Now, I just, I, in closing, I just wanted to end the, um, end kind of my, uh, get off my pedestal <laughs> uh, with the definition of integrity. Now, the definition is firm adherence to a code of especially moral or altruistic values. And Zach, I didn't know if you had anything in addition to that great presentation that you wanted to add. Oh, Nick, that was, that was perfect. And ending with a, a, a dictionary definition, moral code, I love it. What separates us? Uh, for many others out there. And I mean, like people do this publicly is that people in our position, real estate investors, especially in these types of transactions that we do, openly state that they accept non-refundable deposits, down payments from buyers, do not vet them, do not put them in a good position and do not care if they default. They just would then go put the property back on the market and collect another non-refundable deposit. What Nick was just speaking to you about is why we have such a, a strict vetting process, why we look at every single angle uh, of each buyer to make sure that they are set up for success, not only now, because these agreements tend to be a year, two years, not only now, but we're going to do our best to foresee your future and make sure that if there's any type of things that to be handled now, um, that you that you that you do it now, and that way you're set for success. Once it's the time is for you to be able to go get your own loan. That's also why we have uh, very specific uh, vendors or dream team, as we like to call them, that handle 
the specializations of things such as credit repair or credit enhancement or lending mortgages or the attorneys because we want to make sure that you're set up for success. And that all comes down to that moral code that Nick's talking about. Looking at this from a seller standpoint, because this is all such uh, intertwined. I work with a seller. I get it. I, I purchase a property. I then hand it off to Nick. Nick then works with a buyer. And then the buyer eventually goes and gets her a loan. The seller's success is determined on the buyer's success as well. Uh, and we're here to facilitate that entire thing and to be a backstop. So best believe that we look at every single thing with a, uh, a microscope throughout each one of the processes to make sure that everyone is set for success. So I can tell you from day one, and you use the word candid, which is perfect. I actually wrote that down as well. I have a candid conversation with sellers from day one because it is extremely important that you and I, or our company and you, are on the exact same page in how this transaction is gonna be constructed that way we're not wasting anyone's time. And then that way we're helping you if we have the ability to help you through one of our options. Also, throughout this process, because Nick and I both know, and, and maybe if you're following this podcast, now you know, these transactions that we do from both sides, even the seller side, are long-term deals. We have some, uh, some uh, properties in which we own that are going to last 10, 20, 30 years. And then we have some properties that our agreements are for you know, three, five years. Long-term deals. These are long-term relationships. So if there's any hiccup that happens along this process, best believe we're going to update you, even though you're not going to be responsible for everything. So that way that you understand the uh, what is happening if you choose to be updated. Now, I believe that that's integrity because it is an asset in which, especially on the lease purchase deals, in which you're still tied to. So we want to make sure that you're comfortable throughout the entire process as well. And then lastly is, it because not every deal, say almost 95% of the deals, there is a hiccup at some point involved. Um, and at some point in time, there's going to be decisions that are going to be made. I mean, hard decisions that we have to make on the buyer and the seller standpoint. And we will always make those decisions with the highest integrity and and make sure that each and every party is always in mind so that way that everyone can be successful. Now, when I say that there's always hiccups, 95%, they could be big, they could be small. All I'm saying is that they uh, that most things do not work perfect as we are all humans involved in this transaction. And we have things that happen in life such as COVID, which we can never predict, or a death or a divorce in one side of the, the transaction. So just believe that it is one of our core values here at our company, and it is one of the factors in which we measure each and every one of our, our decisions from. Nick, I don't know. That might have been a, a better presentation than yours. <laughs> Could have been. It's, it's definitely up to... Uh... It's subjective. Buyers and sellers. Yeah, it's, it's subjective, whatever whatever um, anyone out there thinks. But they're two different standpoints. I, I would love, since you're, please email podcast at prepropertysolutions.com and, and or write the review. Who had the better presentation on Intech? <laughs> I'd, love, I'd love to know. Uh, but most importantly, what comes out of this, joking aside, is that it is something we truly believe in. And we believe it comes naturally because we're a family-owned company here. Nick, any closing thoughts? Couldn't have said it. Uh, couldn't have said it better myself, Zach. The uh, the only the only thing that was crawling in my head when you you were giving your illustrious uh, presentation there was um, you said that it can be three, five upwards of ten. But there have been uh, just last year, because now we're in 2021 at the time of this recording, just last year in 2020, we had buyers get the loan. One was um, only 17 or 18 months into the rental loan agreement. The other one was only, I think it was, I want to say 13 to 15 months into agreement. So they can be on the shorter side, but they tend to be a little longer, like you were saying. 
It's all about uh, making sure that uh, we're conservative on our end. That way I can project con the, uh, the sellers to be good. And then if a buyer surprises all of us, it's an amazing thing and everyone gets to the finish line a heck of a lot earlier. Uh, so thing. if you're listening the out there and you're a buyer or seller and you want to work with a company and a family that is that always put everybody first, please go ahead and go to prepropertysolutions.com and contact us. We would love to look at potentially buying your property uh, and then be able to work with our buyers and get them to their sign here. So everybody have a fantastic day and we will see you next Wednesday. Thanks for listening to another episode of Not Just a Transaction. If you want to learn more on selling a home, buying a home, or resources to learn more, head on over to our website at originalre.com.